Hello everyone, this is a video tutorial for the book, The Vagabond's Guide to Successful But Making Them Cheap YouTube Production While Living in Your Van and Making Money at It. The book can be downloaded from livinginyourvan.com and there are numerous other video tutorials available on this channel, though more details for each technique are provided in the book. The book is intended for professional video production on the cheap and in the most inopportune situations. For today's tutorial, we are going to walk through a difficult situation using a blue screen. Now, sometimes a green or red screen is used, but in all instances, this is what is known as chroma keying. Uh, you specify the key color, which we then remove from the video or photo, and we then replace the key color with a background of some sort. Uh, in this particular instance, uh, we want to have the Indian brave Nayagera riding over a log over the falls, which were subsequently named after him. Uh, besides the fact that riding a log is over the Niagara Falls is illegal, uh, this would be a one-time shot that would probably kill the stunt person, so obviously we don't want to do the real thing. We must then resort to special effects. Now, I must emphasize a few things before moving along in this tutorial. Uh, for this shot, the result is quite amateurish looking. Now, this is a humor video, so that's quite all right. Uh, the amateurish look adds to the, the cheesy humor. Uh, however, taking some time to pay attention to details, you can produce an incredibly dramatic effect. Uh, also, seeing as how you are probably watching this video because you bought a book with cheap and vagabond in the title, uh, most of you viewers are probably operating on an extremely limited video editing software. Uh, with good software, which is expensive, you could do a much, much better job at this, but I want to be clear that this is doable even with limited software. Uh, the program I used for this particular edit was an old editing program made by ULead called Media Studio Pro. Unfortunately, you can't get the program anymore. Well, you can get a newer version from Corel, which has no support and a whole lot of bugs. Uh, okay, so to start with, we videotape our stuntman acting out his part on the log. Uh, this is the original shot, and you can see what we've done here. The important thing here is to get good, even lighting on the blue screen, and it is imperative that the actor not go out of the bounds of the blue screen. Now, we had to have the camera fairly far back in order to get a lot of the log. Obviously, we're not going to erect a huge, massive blue screen, but no problem. We can deal with the areas we don't want in post-production. And there are a number of ways you can do this. I'm, I'm only going to show you one of several. Uh, loading our original footage into our video editing program, we grab a screen capture which we then import into a photo editing program, which supports an alpha channel. Now, if you don't know what an alpha channel is, you'll have to get a copy of my book because I won't explain that here. Uh, first, we need to sample the blue screen color. Now, I used my color sampler tool in my photo editing program and sampled an area of the blue screen to get an average color. Now, how this is done depends on your photo editing software, uh, which in this case, I'm using Corel Photo Paint. I now have an average RGB value. Notice that the blue screen has different shades of blue. Well, my sample got an average RGB color uh, for all those shades and gave me that color to uh, for my fill tool. We then make a mask which slightly overlaps our blue screen and all areas we don't want. Now, as you can see, the log is so large that it actually extends beyond the screen. We don't want that. We want it to look as though the log has been cut. So our mask cuts and rounds off the log at a distance we like. Some video editing programs will allow you to do this masking right in the editing program, and still others will allow you to mask in the program, but requires a black and white mask applied to it. So you will still need to do this technique, but making a black, a black mask instead of a blue one. We then reverse the mask and use our fill tool to fill in the entire unmasked area with our sample shade of blue, which matches the average color of our blue background. I then export this image with the masked area saved as 100% transparency as an alpha channel. Uh, PNG file works well for this. I then add in this image as an overlay onto my video. 
Now for many of you, your video editing program only has two or three tracks. Now here's a way you can turn your editing program into a multi-track editing suite. We just apply the special effects one at a time and render the videos for every effect. Now it's time consuming, but it allows those of you using free and limited editing programs to pull this off. Notice that my video editing program has recognized the alpha channel. Our blue mask now overlays everything we don't want and leaves only what we want to keep. Uh, we now render this video, which I'm going to call Niagara Step 1. For our next step, I have actual footage of Niagara Falls. Now, when blue screening, if you have a video background, it is very important that your background shot be a lockdown shot. Any movement in your background shot causes a nightmare of work in post-production, uh, though you can typically still work with it. Uh, we drop in the Niagara Step 1 video and apply our chroma key to remove all blue. We set up our motion path so that Niagara floats downstream, rotates, and falls over the falls. We now run into our second challenge. He needs to disappear behind the rim of the falls. Again, there are multiple ways you can do this depending on your video editing suite, but we are going to use the same blue mask technique. If you only have a two track uh, video editing program, go ahead and render out this scene now and we'll call it Falls Step 1. Now make a note of where Niag Niagara goes over the falls and export a screen capture. Load the screen capture into your photo editing program and add a blue mask something like this. Uh, making the mask so that it only covers Niagara after he falls over the rim. Now it's very important that he not be covered by the blue mask until after he's gone after over the rim. Export your blue picture again with an alpha channel at 100% transparency for the rest of the image and import it into your video editing program overlaying your Falls Step 1 video. Notice how Niagara now goes in behind the blue. So if you only have a two track video editing suite, go ahead and render out this video as Falls Step 2. Now put in your original Falls footage with your Falls Step 2 video on top of it. Now when you chroma key your blue out of the Falls Step 1 video, you are removing the blue and it is replaced with the exact same footage of Niagara Falls which is in behind it. The only change that appears is that Niagara disappears in behind the rim. If you are using a two track editing suite, uh, go ahead and render this video out. We'll call it Niagara Falls. We now take our footage of our Indian chief who really should have put on some tanning solution or something who is standing in front of a blue screen. We overlay him on top of our Niagara Falls video at our chroma key and voila, we now have our scene. Indian brave, Niagara, proving manhood. Niagara, swift like horse, strong like buffalo, brave like bear. But dumb like stick. And heavy like stone. Now, this scene could have been improved in a num in many ways. Uh, the moving path is almost robotic, and this is because of the video editing suite and its limitations. Uh, some, edit some editing suites have variable moving paths. Uh, Media Studio Pro did not. One could take more time to make the chief look darker skinned and less artificial by uh, varying the bright brightness and contrast. Again, this may be limited by your video editing suite, but these were some areas you could improve on. This video tutorial is for the book, The Vagabond's Guide to Successful, but Making Them Cheap, YouTube Production While Living in Your Van and Making Money at It. The book can be downloaded from www.livinginyourvan.com and there are numerous other video tutorials available on this channel with details for each technique provided in the book. The book is intended for professional video production on the cheap and in the most inopportune situations.